This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello and welcome back fellow disc golf enthusiasts. We are bringing you 2023 Estonian Open coverage, third stop of the European Pro Tour. This is round three back nine MPO lead card that we are bringing you, brought to you by MDG Media. In only nine short holes, we will be crowning your next EPT champion. I'm Connor Wood and with me, Maxime Tonch. Hey man, good to be back for the back nine action. Nine holes to go, Maur in the lead. Can't wait to see what's uh, what's going on here, man. He has a little bit of a cushion sitting at four strokes over, I believe, Nestori. The battle has been tight, but with a technical course, anything can still happen. Definitely some separators. Although, we'll get started on hole 10, par 3, 81 meters. This is one of the friendlier holes here in Kodovama Disc Golf Park. You see this straight fairway with a soft bend to the right. You want to get through these early trees, crash into the open green, and you have quite a soft looking landing. I think for a lot of the right-handed players, a forehand hyzer with a low speed disc. Exactly, exactly. The forehand is definitely the the most famous option, let's say. You can go backhand, you know, turnover, but it's really hard to manage. So um, pretty sure the four players are going to, to go for the forehand option. We got Mikael up first. Oh. Skips it up to basket height and past it. He is currently on a heater, has birdied the last six holes in a row. If he can make that putt, that will be seven in a row. An incredible hot start. Yeah, and, and exactly, like after a hard one. So really, really nice, man. Seven seven in a row would be amazing for him after the, the bogey on hole one. The hard starts and Maori catching the tree on the left side. It's going to be a bit of scramble. And okay, Samuel is going back in. So that's, well, you don't see that uh, a lot on this course. And, uh, and in the MPO field, same for FPO, I think forehand again is the main option. <sighs> Late release, but the... Oh, oh wow. wow. Really good result. And he is right up there putting for birdie. He will take that every day, I think. <laughs> little roll what? of the wrist, found an Anheuser release when you really do want Heiser, and he'll be all right with that. Oh, man, he was going straight to the left side. Amazing kick for Nestori. Oh man, it's good to take those. Amazing. And Maori will be taking the par. Good upshot from him. That might even give Nestori a chance to close the gap a little bit. Exactly. Great scramble from Samuel. Yeah. Yeah, and normally, normally if you're even left side, but you know, 20, 25 meters from the basket, it's, oh no. Oh, maybe he felt he didn't deserve it. You know, sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's happening. You know, you didn't quite earn it. Yeah. So you don't know. Oh, what? And Mikhail as well, just off the nubs. You see his frustration with the cage there and his release. No easy birdies. No easy birdies. And a great save from Maori. You know, he had still work to do. You know, like the upshot was a bit short. Six, seven meters, but uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem for him. I think especially as the holes run out, every single stroke matters. We're talking about the win. We're talking about podium positions. There's also cash on the line. It's pretty significant now. A single difference in putt or throw could be determining a lot of outcome. Yeah. You know, and only pars on this one. You know, like uh, some, some misfires. Yeah. Pressure is there, definitely. Pressure is there. We'll see if it carries on to hole 11. Par 3, 120 meters. This is an uphill tunnel shot the entire way. These competitors will need to get their nose angle correct to match the grade of the hill, fight all the way up around or between all of these trees. And if you have a really nice shot, you can even use the backstop here behind the basket. Although this is an absolute bonus birdie, three is a great score. Yeah, one of the hardest holes on the course. Definitely it's a 125, 120 meters uphill shot. You need to control your line. You know, it should be a fairway driver straight shot to the basket trying to hit this gap okay, take your turn 
Yeah, it's a good shot from Mikael, hitting the, the good gap in the middle. It's a bit short, fading a bit early, but you take it every day. Definitely enough distance for a chance at two, an easy three at worst, I think. Your leader, Maori Vilman. Come on, miss it. Oh, yeah, and that kind of kick is uh, is hard to, to handle, so it's going to be scramble for Maori from the left side. Early kick, there's 50, 60 meters to go with a lot of trees in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay, late release for Samuel, catching one of the first trees on the, left, the right side. I think especially throwing uphill so far, the highs the release angle is slightly easier to hit the initial gap and then have it flip up into the gap rather than trying to shape it flat or Anheuser yeah, out of the hand. Exactly. I agree. So Samuel showing some uh, scramble skills. Ooh. Okay, so it's going to be... He's going to work even to save the bogey, I would say. There is a, there is a, yeah, 30, 40 meters to go. Mari with the fadeaway forehand. No. That's incredible. As he fights through everything to bullseye. What? The man does not want to bogey. Gets the knuckles from Mikael. Well deserved. That is a sick shot. Sick shot. I'm, I'm interested to, you know. See if he was uh, feeling a bit uh, fortunate or not, because he was high in the in the branches, you know. Hard, but great scramble from Maui. Mikhail putting for birdie. Come on. Mm. Very tight gap. Find some of those high branches. Stress-free three. We'll see Samuel now. This is, I believe, his... Yeah, fourth. Fourth. Save a bogey, and it will be, it should be a double bogey for Samuel. Yeah. First available. It's already a tough hole. If you do hit the gap to find the early tree, it just makes it all the more difficult. We see Nestori out from that right side. Had a decent shot up there and a little bit of a low bid to the basket. Samuel with a short putt for his double. Hi. He must feel awful. 18 down now. You know, losing a bit of pace. You know, three strokes now, four strokes on Nestori. And yeah, we can talk about uh, the leader, but uh, eight strokes is uh, now really hard to get. So uh, yeah, you just need to get back at it, have fun, enjoy the last seven holes, and try your best. Let's go to hole 12. Hole 12 is a par three that sits at 106 meters you see it go downhill as well as left to right players will be throwing a blind anheuser backhand most likely around the corner and they will want to catch some fade as you come into this very fast green you want to try and land your disc as flat and as softly as possible given that it's downhill you really do have a range of discs and speeds you can choose from i think something overstable on an anheuser release shapes most naturally yeah to me it's the most Amazing hole from the course, you know, to play. The shape is amazing. Just need to, to keep your turnover. Or you can, you know, enhance your release, as you were saying, with an overstable disc to have, like, that big flex shot. It's uh, really fun to play. Miss this three. Great shot from uh, Mikael in position to take a birdie there. So no birdies yet on the back nine. As we get closer to that hole 18 and the finish of the tournament, these players may be feeling the pressure a little bit. Mallory is not, though, as he gives it a legit ace run. Slides just past the basket. That is an incredible line. Beautiful. You know, holding the line till the end. Beautiful. No fade at all. Great control. And it should be good also. Hugs the inside a little bit more, doesn't quite catch the leftwards fade at the end, but just at circle's edge for a birdie look. Not a bad shot by any means. He's right up there putting for birdie. And Samuel needs to heal from that double bogey, catching some pine trees, but in position, you know, good reaction, you know, of the branches, so he will have a 7-8 meters putt to take a bird. 
after this double bogey. Hopefully he's uh, feeling all okay. Nestori from 11 meters now. Oh yeah. Oh, a bit too much left. And that's a few times in this round alone for Nestori that he's found medal but not stuck it. Samuel, great putt, really just a great signal of where his mind is at after that double bogey, gets yeah. the bounce back, secures the birdie. As we get a look at the pretty good replay, we see the straddle from just in front of the trees. Laser focus, laser putt, strong side. Amazing putt from Samuel. Super simple putting technique, beautiful to watch. Mikael now with the straddle, he's used to it. So simple also. Easy peasy. I love this. Six down now for Mikael. Maori for his birdie coming back from that near ace run. Dead center, as we often see from that man right there. Five strokes now. Amazing from uh, Maori, setting the pace, beautiful. Great Zuka ad video. I love this one. Grooving. Stay groovy, folks. Hole 13. A 108 meter par 3. This is a straight to left fading fairway that also demands a very specific line, let's say, to really park this one. You want a long fighting hyzer that goes straight, pushing the rightwards tree line, and then comes in nice and soft. You will see this fast green sloping right to left. Anything that comes in too hot on hyzer angle will skip down the hill. So you really need to control your landing. For safety, a lot of people will play much more to the right side and try to crash the trees. It's a beautiful intro, man. That's exactly what you need to do. You know, you control your fade, not to skip too, too far on the left side. And I think if you go through those trees, oh, yes. yes. Voila, Mikael is showing you exactly the line you need to hit. So a bit fortunate, you know, he went through uh, the last two or three, three trees on the, the right side. Amazing shot from Mikael. A bit wider. Take your fate. Maori with a lot more height may have been using a lower speed disc to try and control that fade. Gives it some height to get the distance but as a result, finds the rightwards tree line a bit early. He'll be looking with that downhill putt. Can be tricky. Samuel now. Oh, early. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's better to be a bit too long than a bit too short, you know, because there is that downhill slope. It's slight, it's slight but, you know, Mikael is in a better position to me because he's long, he's going to be uphill. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Nestori with a late release, catching the right side of the fairway. So Maori and uh, Nestori are going to put from C2. A bit of scramble for Samuel. Hopefully he will be able to save this one. Oh. Nestori. Wow, what an impressive and confident bid. Falling forwards finds the band. Okay, and you can see. These guys are not laying up. Really not. Really not. So, so Maori is going to, to save, trying to save his part from nine. Okay. Doesn't seem to affect him. <laughs> so great bar save. Samuel doing exactly the same. Great. Well, that's great. Saving some parts from a uh, circle's edge, you know, eight, nine meters. Mikhail for his birdie. A fantastic tee shot. Nailed his line, nailed his putt. That is a good birdie to grab here as he puts himself to 23 under. 
continuing to pressure those podium positions. Yeah, and four strokes to Maori. We never know. Still a gap, but uh, yeah, he's fighting. We see the beautiful drone shot from above here. The horseshoe hole 14. Par four, 170 meters. Your disc needs to go right the entire way. You saw us just past that early mando tree, preventing any shortcuts or early rightwards play. You need a straight to hard fading shot to beat the corner on the first, opening up your second shot, hopefully all the way to the green. I think playing really nicely for the forehand off the tee and oftentimes forehand approach if you're comfortable with it, but the landing zone that you need to hit is very tight to have an open look to the basket. So first shot really important to determine if you still have a birdie chance. Yeah, you, you go for the high line forehand hyzer. You can also go with the back and turnover, but uh, it's, it's a hard line to, to, to get. So probably four players going forehand now. Great shot from Mikael. Hopefully this small pine tree is not going in, yeah, to be too much in his way. And you have kind of two gaps, you know, for your second shot. If you're, you know, short, you have the, ma the major one, the main one. And then if you're too long, too deep, there is a straight shot to the basket. We'll see another great shot. I think he's in a perfect position. You know, he will be able to hit the main gap from there. Mikael is maybe going for the left one, you will see. Maori definitely using more width than Mikael. Samuel also opting for the forehand here, mm -hmm. a similar width, but a little bit lower than Maori's. He'll catch the edge of one of those trees, come up a bit short. He'll definitely be pinched. We'll see how aggressive he chooses to get. Yeah, and he, he, it's so frustrating to be there because, uh, you know, it's too tight to go to the basket from where Samuel landed. You'll see he will have to just kind of lay up 30, 40 meters high, hyzer shot, voila, forehand. But he won't be able to go to the basket from there. I think it's too tight. Oh, and maybe. Oh, he tried the inside line, so it's so dangerous to do that. But there is a line there. Yeah, okay. Catching some trees. He tried it so hard, and you can see. So that's the main gap. Going for the forehand. Oh, whoa. Going close from this big tree. But easy peasy. <laughs> Maori Vilman putting that one right up there. He will have a short birdie putt. Mikael. Manageable. Manageable <laughs> birdie putt. Mikael. Oh, choosing. The Anheuser gap, but this okay. is a bit too high. As he goes nose up, finds a lot of fade, he'll be circle two looking sideways back to the basket. Decent distance on the approach, but just didn't quite hold the turn. Yeah, I think he was just, you know, from, I don't know, just waiting for him. Nestori. Uh oh. Oh, it could be Obi. Mm -hmm. And we have Samuel from the trees, scramble, and it looks like, okay, he's going to fight oh, to save the bar. That is a solid scramble out yeah. of the woods. So maybe just outside of the, the circle, but good shot, man, from where he was. Great results. And the big jump puts to pitch up. Good job from Nestor. It's going to be an easy bogey. And Mikael fighting for the bird to keep the pace. Come on. Ooh, wow. Great putt from Mikael. And three in a row again. Eight down through 14 holes. Beautiful. You know, since hole four, he's all in. Great from Mikael. And we have a pretty good replay for sure. Well earned. We see him look at the height as it exits the frame and bombs back into the chains. Incredible straddle putt. Nothing more to be said. And that putting technique allows him, you know, not to have any comebackers in any situation. It's, uh, it's great for Mikael. Great putt. Yes, sir. Another great putt from Samuel. That is a really solid par save, yeah. considering he went aggressive on the second. Brutal kick off to the right and still saves par. Incredible scramble. And Maori not letting up at all finds the birdie here on 14. 
Wow. And two in a row, you know, for Samuel, saving uh, pars back to back from eight, nine meters. Loving it. We will move on to hole 15. Par 3, 130 meters. These players will have an option of which gaps to take. You can play right of these trees on the hyzer angle, left of these trees on the Anheuser backhand or forehand. You can go over them with the sky roller. This is a pick your shot situation as you try to battle up the hill towards the basket, get as much distance as possible. A hard hole, but very attackable for lead card caliber. Yeah, very attackable and a lot of options. You can go right side, you can go turnover back in, you can go forehand on the left side. It's amazing. You can also flex shot over the trees in the middle. Great shot to, to play. Let's see how Mikael is doing it. Voilà, right side. So the gap is not that big. So, you know, a lot of players are taking this option, but you can stop really early on the fairway. And I'm surprised that so many players are opting for that smaller gap. Maori, though, absolutely power bomb forehand. Heiser the whole way up the hill as he sneaks just within the circle. Nine meter putt. That's three for three for Maori going forehand on hole 15. He's birdied the last two. We'll see if he can complete the trifecta. Yeah, you know, like the left side option is so much safer. And you can see a third way to go to the basket the roller go back go back. great speed on it as he turns it over right at the end it curls up just in time he is about six or seven meters away goes long of the basket for his birdie amazing roller from samuel to get back on the birdie train uh oh late okay Good result, you know, he could have stopped largely earlier. Should be a 30, 40 meter shot to the basket, maybe some trees in the way, but manageable. That's my new word. Mikael with the Anheuser release off the knee, gets that short flex, hugs the grass. He'll be just about circle's edge to save his par. Oh, oh Nestory in such a hard spot. Tries to lay down the roller, but doesn't get out. This is his third shot. Gives it a bid, understandably. Yeah, now I feel bad, because maybe it was even better to stop earlier in, in those trees, you know, like Mikael. Because he was, yeah, in the better situation ever. Stone yeah. cold, Maori, Vilman, three for three birdies with the forehand here on hole 15. 20, 29 down now. Said, oh, to save the par. It happens, you know. <laughs> it's hard to have a round when you, where, yeah, where you don't miss any putts. Bogey for Mikael. Samuel to take the bird. Beautiful, dead center. Confident, back to 20 down. And Nestor to save the bogey. Oh no. Perhaps a little bit frustrated with the short roller, scrambles through, was unable to save par, unable to save bogey. But finds the double, cleans it up as a little bit of pressure is relieved from Maori. That will drop Nestori to 19 under. Going Holy cow, Eagle! Nicklaus! What just happened? 80. On a harp. This is looking really good. Go in. Oh, oh my gosh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Within even 30 meters. It's giving it a chance. Get no it! Oh, he did it! What a no highlight way. putt! Uh, another <laughs> little showmanship. <laughs> so cool. Thank you for that. And we are back here on hole 16. Par three, 120 meters. This is a straight tunnel shot the entire way. Although quite forgiving, you need to go on the left of this tree that we're passing now, try to flip something up to flat, beat this very big series of two trees right here on the left. 
they're right exactly on the line that you'd like to throw. And if you can beat this last guardian as well, it's a little bonus. This is an attackable hole, but you need to hit a specific flip up line. Exactly. It's a straight flex shot. And yeah, if you hit the gap and if you let your disc do the job, it's all good. As Maori is going to show you, it's the perfect shot. Like it's, yeah, seven, eight meters, great shot, flex, beautiful. But I think he's so comfortable now, he can just uh, enjoy the last three holes. There is no pressure anymore. Even for, from the chase card, I think everybody was so far from him. Samuel playing a little bit more of that flex shape as he glides buttery smooth up to the basket. Oh, even better. Beautiful. Yeah, controlling a bit more at the end of the, of the, the flight. Amazing from Samuel to get, to get going and to go back to 21 down. Well, maybe, you know, he needed a bit more turn. It's going to be left side, C2. But yeah, okay shot, definitely from Mikael. Nestori. Oh, yeah. Big move on this one. He gives it the height and the pace as he crashes this green, settles nice and soft off the branch. Maybe a fortunate tree. I think he was going long there. I'm pretty sure that there was a lot of speed. I... I was a bit worried, but uh, yeah, I think thanks to the, the branches, it's all good now. Mikael from the left side gives it an honest bid, likely taking par. Come on, Nestori, after, voila. You know, sometimes after missing that kind of putt, four or five meters, you can start thinking a bit too much, but dead center putt from six, seven meters, great birdie to heal for Nestori and Maori. Yes, sir. Cold stone, as you were saying. No worries, 10 down. 10 down and he still have... With 17 and 18, both wow, guardable holes yeah. potentially. He is averaging 10 down a round and likely exceeding that here in the final round just to make a statement at this point. He's showing everybody. He's showing everybody that's if he's competing against you, you will need to, you will need to fight, man. And hole 17 now. Par 3, 90 meters. Another of the more friendly attackable holes here, but not without its dangers. Downhill the entire way, you have a fast fairway and a fast green. And once you get there, you also have an elevated basket that you're going to need to beat. You want to land your disc about 80 meters on the ground and slide on up. You'd rather be a little bit long than a little bit short though, as you'll be left with a death putt if you're 10 or so meters short. It can be very hard to run confidently. This is one that will really test the control, your control of the pace and speed of the disc. Exactly. And careful because it's better to be long, but there is the OB line 12, I mean maybe 15 meters behind the basket. So, and with the dry dry ground you need to control early release from maori but he slides on up he'll be just around circles edge putting for birdie no worries there sneaking through the left side yeah and he can just enjoy it i'm pretty sure he was checking you disc at this point and telling himself it's all good he can have fun now And a good shot from Samuel, a bit left, but it's going to be a birdie possibility also. Nestori with a real roller coaster on the last three holes, looking to end strong. This has a lot of height and once again a lot of speed, but the stability of the disc pulling him out of the flight nicely sits it down also within the circle. And you can see the OB sticks two, three meters from his disc. So not going longer. And Mikael to finish here on the teapad. Oh, it's a late release. Oh, and a good kick to end up in the middle of the fairway, 25 meters. It's going to be a layup. Or, you know, he will show me that he's going for everything. 
So Mika's 23 down now. So it was a tight battle, you know, for second, third, fourth place. So all those players were, yeah, being maybe a bit uh, more careful about others. So it's a layup for Mikael. Good choice, smart and, and wise, let's say. Absolutely. We see Maori now. He doesn't need this birdie, but I think he's going for it. He can. Just lethal on the green. There is no chance for anyone to catch up as he puts his fourth birdie in a row here on the back nine. Fifth total for the back nine. He is 11 under so far in this final round. What an incredible composure. Yeah, like even not slowing down through the weekend. Even with two holes left, he so easily could have laid that up and instead chooses yeah. to run it on the elevated basket. Yeah, I think he's just having fun right now. You know, there is people he wants to show who he is. That's amazing. It was dead center, like 12, 13 meters, good heights. Oh, wow. Wow. Beautiful performance from Maori. And if you didn't know, you know now. Oh, yeah, definitely. We are here on the final hole of the 2023 Estonian Open. You see here hole 18. Par 3, 110 meters, a slightly new basket placement this year. It used to be up on the hill, now down on the water's edge, making it a little bit more aggressive to run and a little bit more dangerous for the putts. This is an attackable hole for these guys, a big wide swinging hyzer over the water carry, slam into the hill. This is one that is not particularly fast green, often you just sit and dig. So a lot of these guys will just bomb a hyzer to end their round. Yeah, I think it's one of the, the birdie a lot of players in the top 30 uh, are getting. So, you know, you go as wide as possible, not too much, or you end up in the water. But, you know, you don't want to be in that slope or too high in that slope left side because you, yeah, you would have to fight with the water and with the downhill putt. And to seal the deal here. And I think it's a perfect shot. <laughs> That's a good way to finish the round. And that will be it for Maori, ending at 32 under par, total into the bullseye on 18. Incredible. Yeah, I think last last year it was 27 or yeah 26 seven for uh, the battle between Niklas and uh, and Lauri Lettinen. So yeah, he's showing he's showing the way, man. 32 down on this course is a uh, yeah. Is a great base. And a good shot from Samuel there, just outside Bullseye. He will be looking to put himself to 22 under. <sighs> Nestori now with some struggles on the back nine. This will be a good way to end his round out. Yeah, and he's going to have, voila, decision making now. 10 meters downhill, but he was not that comfortable on the back nine on the green. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he's just going for it without thinking too much. Mikael also with a nice width and speed control, just outside Bullseye, right next to Samuel and Maori. Three fantastic shots and one good one. We'll see. Nestori, his, his constitution will be tested here, but he's been playing aggressively. I think it doesn't end here. He knows his putt. Oh, Maori. For a third win this season, four, it's three wins out of four events. No, he was T T five, I think, fifth in uh, in Belgium, and uh, yeah, for the rest he was on top of the field. Great performance since the start of the season for Maori. Mikael now to go to twenty four. Great way to finish. Great performance, man. Like it was a hard start for him, and yeah, nine down, I think, if I don't mistake. Yeah, that's great. Samuel now, a good birdie to end his round, had some struggles, attacked everything, tons of birdies, tons of bogeys as a result, but never gave up on the pressure. And you see here, your 2023 Estonian Open champion, Mauri Vilman. Well earned, absolute professional, well-rounded game, and look at that scorecard, folks. So six down, 
I think on uh, each nine holes, uh, nine holes. So yeah, amazing from Maori. And you can see, like always calm, you know, not showing off too much. I'm pretty sure he's super happy. He's not showing it too much. <laughs> the biggest smile I've seen from the man there, sneaking yeah. on his face. That's amazing. Great performance from him. And wow, incredible tournament, incredible yeah. coverage. EPT does not stop giving us some exciting battles as we Great. take a look at the overall results here. Maori Billman at 32 under par. Ville Ahokas from the chase card sneaking into second place at 26 under par. Severi Savanyemi tied in third. Wow. Yeah, what a weekend, man. It was amazing. Great course, great organization. Thanks to Disc Golf Stream and European Pro Tour teams. And thanks to all of you who joined and watched this coverage. Appreciate your support and we'll catch you at the next one. Oh yeah, man. See you and uh, see you everybody.